Hi, welcome to the next video in the conversion of uh, Nissan Sentra 2004 to an electric vehicle. My name is Jose Barriga and I want to show in the in, in this video the uh, batteries that I got out of the package that I got from uh, uh, the Better Place uh, package for a uh, Renault Influenza. Uh, that's the case where it came. So I basically got the, the cells out. Uh, there are a few components that I may be able to reuse, I don't know, but uh, I'll see if I can reuse some of these. This really came between the cells to cool them off, so this is cooling. Uh, then there's uh, some other components, which are, these are contactors, uh, I think there's a fuse. I'm not sure I can use any of these, but uh, they're good, so we'll see. Um, this came, of course, very heavily bolted with a lot of uh, bolts. It has all these bolts to, to put things together, uh, which is a lot. This is the BMS system that is coming with the package. I'm not sure I can use this either, but that's that's how it looks like. I think I need to get some information on this to see how it really works and see if I can use it. Right now my intention is not to use it, but button balance these batteries. I'll be able to use them. Uh, I want to show you uh, the voltages of these batteries. Here's my multimeter. Um, they look pretty good actually. Uh, they will look actually very, very well balanced. Like if I check this package, for example, I got 130 volts. Got uh, 130 volts, more or less the same I get here. 130 volt, volts. It's very well balanced, actually, surprisingly. And when I check this last package, I get um, This may, this may have a different configuration. When I check in here, I get 63 volts. And when I check from here to here, I get another 63 volts. So they may not be connected internally, which I have to check. Uh, now these, of course, are the connectors for the VMS. I, um, it has a cable for each one of the cells. Um, these are two internal cells in series and two internal cells in parallel. So basically, each one of these is approximately 3.97 volts, four, close to four. And measuring from here, what is another 3.97, 98. And when measured between these two, I get like 7.96 volts. Um, so as I was saying, the BMS is here connecting each one of these cells. I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I'm most likely going to remove that, and I'm going to button balance this. And uh, what I'm planning to do is with the three packages, connect them using the flex cable that the the, the tab cable that it, pro it it was coming originally with the uh, with this with the battery. And that's all I have for now. Thanks. Hi. Continuing on the upgrade for the Sentra to uh, lithium batteries, I made some progress this uh, past week. Uh, the first thing I got is the timer. That timer I bought the little guy for the uh, vacuum pump uh, gauge indicator. Uh, well, I've been playing with the batteries. Uh, they are really nice. It looks like the voltage is really nice and all. I've been making a map of the uh, of the batteries, how they're connected, and how are they connected to the uh, little connector here. I think I'm going to use it to do some kind of VMS testing. It's easier to check here than to check every battery. So I'm going to do some, I'll keep those cables and I'll use some, uh, I'll just for balancing purposes. Now, um, I see that one of the batteries is configured different than the others for some reason. Like here, for example, this has missing uh, connection and it has in the, in the beginning uh, tabs, which is different than this. So I'm gonna have to reconfigure a little bit. This is somehow, you know, connected in two sets. It's not together, so it's really two sets. So I have to uh, work on that. This this is the only difference. The, these two are equal. 
Um, anyway, my controller is gone, my, my batteries are gone. You can see here that there's a, a lot of cleaning to do. This is really dirty, so I'll be spending the next couple of days just cleaning the transmission and cleaning out the, uh, this a little oil from when there was a gasoline engine here. So I'm going to clean it up pretty well. I removed the controller. Here's the controller. And as you can see, there's uh, some a little bit damage from the acid. That's another reason why not to use lead acid batteries. All this is lead. Uh, is, is acid. The acid came here and it just make it dirty. So I have to clean it now too. Um, and well, I removed the batteries here too. I'm in the process of uh, saving the batteries. Um, I put the batteries there, and well, the, uh, the space is empty now. I think I'm going to put this, the new batteries like this. So I need to remove these these supports and build new supports that are now uh, parallel to the car instead of perpendicular. Um, and I got the uh, rack that I'm going to use for the uh, bicycle and for the trailer. This is uh, this is going to go here. Um, uh, that's what I have so far. I'm going to be uh, working on uh, cleaning up this. Also, you can see all the uh, all the uh, dust from the batteries, all the damage from the batteries, and I need to remove the con the, the charger as well. Um, that's what I'll be working next. Bye. Hello. We're back at the conversion. Um, this is about three weeks of work for me in my free time. And this is what I've done so far. Um, I moved the controller to the side, as I said I was going to. I got a registry here for the cables. I moved the cooler, the, the little radio and fans to the back, and I rewired all the hoses. And uh, I, I just moved all my cables and everything, my fuse and my uh, amp meter here. So everything is moved to the right, and it fits perfectly, the disconnect and the emergency uh, disconnect the uh, DC to DC, the battery and the vacuum pump, everything is on the right. And if you see, uh, there is uh, plenty of space here and very good supports here for a future project. I think I may want, I, I may add a second set of uh, batteries like this. Uh, I pretty much measure and they, they fit all here in this section and in that section. So if I can get uh, in the future a second set of uh, batteries at a good price, I can add a second set of batteries here. The weight should be fine because they weigh even less than the lead acid batteries I had before. Um, for now, I'm going to really build a front. Like in the Tesla, there's plenty of space and there's no uh, reason why it should be really wasted. So what I'm going to do is build with plexiglass or, or, or some PVC uh, sheets. I'm going to build a little box here that goes all the way down and, and just fix it with these supports and pretty much build a frunk while I have a better use for this. Um, I was thinking maybe to also install a generator in this place to extend my range but I don't really see much of the point since the idea is that these cars do not pollute. Uh, so I don't really see the point. Um, I did a better diagram for my batteries now, so I know uh, very well where all the uh, connections go, uh, where every cable goes, and the, the voltages and the way they are connected. This will help me. Um, something else that I did is I finally got rid of all the cables that were in the car and they were not really related to the conversion now. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, cables and a lot of complexity. Just to give you an idea, these are the two connections that go to the uh, computer of the car, to the old computer when it was a gasoline car. And, and just look at this, this is just so many cables. These are very system, uh, complex systems. Uh, and this is just the ones going to the computer. There are many, many more cables going to, this, to a few of the sensors and the airbags and things like that that are not even included here. Uh, I got rid of a lot of uh, mess and cables. I, I put all my cables in this uh, blue conduit just to make it looking better and just so, so just looking cleaner. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And next next thing I'm going to do is now uh, start installing my batteries into the back of the car, and that's that's going to be the work for the next two to three weeks. Hopefully by then I'll be able to start using my car again. Okay.